Is that commitment issues? Perhaps. <gasps> Wait, what does that even mean? Me defending this with my life. <laughs> That does not sound good. Wait, 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 actually, hang on. Take me to my results. No! Hi guys, my name is Christine. If you're new here, this is my YouTube channel. And today I'm doing, okay, I should preface this because I've never acted like this in a video before. I'm so right sleep deprived. I've been meaning to refilm this video because I filmed it last semester, but the footage was really bad, so I just completely scrapped it and I was like, okay, I'll film it over break. It is currently the Thursday before I leave to go back to my apartment for the semester, aka the very last few days of break, and I'm finally refilming this. But yeah, I'm just gonna take a bunch of like personality tests, slash, this is who you are tests. I'm also filming in my sister's room because I don't feel like filming in my room right now. Do you wanna be my dog? <laughs> <laughs> this is my dog. <laughs> oh my god. He looks so cute. Because he is cute. He's adorable. He His breath stinks, but he's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take four tests today. So I'm going to take the MBTI 16 personalities test. Then I'm going to take the Enneagram test. Then I'm going to take the Pottermore sorting hat quiz. And then the love language test. Hopefully my laptop doesn't die. Hopefully this doesn't die. Let's go! So, 16 personalities. Take the test. Hello? Oh! I'm on the page already. <laughs> you enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people. You often spend lots of... Oh, you, whoa, I just read that completely wrong. You often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. I don't even know what that means. You often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it has taken place, yeah. But the thing is, it's also my personality to never say strongly agree or strongly disagree. Like, almost never. Really? You never like either of the spectrums? Like, I'll always stick with like the slightly agree, slightly disagree. Is that commitment issues? Perhaps. People can rarely upset you. Disagree. Next. It would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself coffee and go. Disagree. <laughs> I just did a strongly disagree. Wow. Proud of you. Thank you. I get sidetracked so easily. Yeah, you do. True. Interesting. I got INFP. Last time I'm sure I got E. Wait, that's so interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, hang on. INFP is a mediator. Let's take a look at these percent breakdowns. So 51% introverted. Okay, so it's pretty close. 62% intuitive. 74% feeling. That's true. 56% prospecting and then 67% turbulent. That does not sound good. On the outside, mediators, INFPs may seem quiet or even shy, but they often have vibrant, passionate inner lives. Because they make up such a small portion of the population, people with this personality type may sometimes feel misunderstood or out of step with the world. Fortunately, their caring nature can help them create and sustain deep relationships with their loved ones. Mediators value authenticity, empathy, and harmony. These personalities tend to act with the best of intentions and they are rightly proud of this trait. That said, they may feel isolated or discouraged when other people don't share their idealism. Mediators tend to crave opportunities for creative self-expression. Subscribe. <laughs> What'd you get? I'm an INFP. Interesting. I think especially these days. Yeah. Spending so much time with myself, like during quarantine. Yeah. I think I this makes a lot that. more. I think this makes a lot more sense. Interesting. Mm. I wonder if I'm introverted now. So that was the MBTI test, 16 personalities test. Now I'm going to take the Enneagram test, which is the nine types of people. For MBTI, I was INFP. That's so interesting. I never would have expected that. I always thought I was extroverted, but to be fair, it was 51% I. Wow. So I feel like I could be ENFP or INFP. I think if anything, you're probably an introverted extrovert now. Okay, starting the test. How long is this? Oh, it's not that long. Most important too. Relationships get the job done. 
through my relationships. Let's say busy with lots of stimulating activities. Easy get overstimulated by too much excitement. I don't know. Do I like to say busy with lots of stimulating activities or do I think it's easy to get overstimulated by too much excitement? The hours you spent on TikTok speaks for itself. I don't go on TikTok anymore. Well, you used to. If I had to pick, I'd much rather like go back to like being busy every day like on campus. You know what I mean? Make decisions with bonus account. Nope. <laughs> I'm uncertain. I tend to dwell on past hurts. Toughen up and move on. I do not toughen up. Wait, what does that even mean? It's more important to get things done and look good than to have a good time. Oh! See, I know it's important to do the second, but I tend to do the first more. Second, I think that's more important. <laughs> uncomfortable with confrontation heck yeah definitely not known for my toughness i enjoy expressing my positive emotions congratulations you're done with the test i have to scroll down the button will appear in a minute should i wait i'll wait how you guys doing <laughs> he was definitely asleep look at him look at his little pink belly yeah ow 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Go. That was rude. Done. Your Enneagram test results are ready. Click this button to continue. Take me to my results. <gasps> I think this is what I got last time. Type 7, the enthusiast. Type 9, the peacemaker. Type 6, the loyalist. Those are my top three types. Enthusiasts are energetic, lively, and optimistic. Peacemakers are receptive, good-natured, and supportive. The loyalists, responsible, trustworthy, and value loyalty to family, friends, groups, and causes. Interesting. I will, again, take screenshots and put them up on the screen here so you can see what the descriptions are. That's interesting. So I'm mainly the enthusiast. Something about that doesn't seem right, but I guess. I'm not very spontaneous and free-spirited. Well, I guess within the limits of my life circumstances. All right, those are my Enneagram types according to this website. Next test. When I wake up, I feel cozy. Oh my God, I'm gonna take the Pottermore test now. If you don't get this. Last time I took it, I got Ravenclaw. Okay, first um, background. In elementary school, we had this amazing week called Harry Potter week. Wizard and wizarding week, right? Can you help me talk? Sorry. It was called Wizarding Week on the first day we were like sorted into houses. It was literally just picking like colors out of a bag and then the color corresponded to a house. But I got Hufflepuff and I was so excited. And I took the Pottermore test probably in like middle school and I got Hufflepuff then. But then I took the Pottermore test again in like junior high and I got Ravenclaw. But I ignored the results because I was like, I'm a Hufflepuff. So this is my third time taking the test now. We'll see what I get. All right, the official Pottermore sorting hat quiz. Does it recognize if I click an option? Oh, I have to press start. Because there's no, because all the questions are listed below. <clears throat> Anyways, what would you least like to be called? Selfish. When you're dead. <laughs> wow, what really happened right in there? When you're dead, what do you want people? What do you want people? What? 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 What do you want people do when they think of you? Oh, to do. Miss me and smile. When I'm dead, why is this? Question three, and it's asking me when I'm dead again. I want people to remember me as the good, the great, the wise, the bold, the good. Do you think I'm answering honestly or because I know what answer it's gonna get me? I always think about that when it comes to quizzes. Like those ones where it's like, what avatar element are you? Like, where would you want to spend like your vacation? At the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Around a campfire. <laughs> if you can make a potion that will guarantee you one thing, what would it be? Love, glory, wisdom, power. That's so vague. Like, what does it mean it would guarantee me love? Like, I would always love things or I would always be love. loved? Maybe how you interpret it is also an indication of which house you are. It's, I really doubt that it's that deep. You enter a magical garden. What do you look at first? Instinct says the toadstools. I want to know what they're up to. Aren't and you hear toadstools like mushrooms? Yeah, but they're talking. Like, why are they talking? When I hear that, I'm going to go. You know what I mean? Everything is going to look insane of course but if i can hear and i hear things talking that shouldn't be talking i'm gonna go listen like i'm gonna go there first me defending this with my life <laughs> Love this moment, yeah. stay a minute, another minute. i'm only 50 percent there 
crazy neighbors. What would you rather be? Trusted? Oh, there are too many words. <laughs> Trust me. would you be most interested in studying? Everything. That's so strange. If that wasn't an option, I'll think more about it, but why wouldn't I want to learn everything? You and your friends need to cross a bridge garden. Oh, that's a Ravenclaw thing, that's why. Everything? I literally just said, why wouldn't I want to learn everything? Uh -huh. Any house to be sorted into, which would you pick? That's a question. It's Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw. I'll let the sorting hat decide where I should be. Yeah. What in the world? I'm not gonna oh, do that. Oh, it's because of the Harry. Harry. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's so entitled. So Controversial opinions. What do you think I got? I got my my thing. Oh, you got it. Yeah. What do you think I got? Oh, I don't know. Definitely Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw, but honestly, you're overthinking things to the point that I'm thinking Ravenclaw. <laughs> I got Ravenclaw. <laughs> <laughs> no! Last time I took it, I got Ravenclaw. I got Hufflepuff and I was so excited. And I took the Pottermore test probably in like middle school and I got Hufflepuff then because I was like, I'm a Hufflepuff. No! That means I got Ravenclaw twice with this test. And Hufflepuff once. If you want, you can chalk it up to the fact that I helped and I'm definitely a Ravenclaw. I don't know whether to be like... Am I Ravenpuff? A Huffleclaw? You got Ravenclaw. Or yet in wise old Ravenclaw if you've already mined where those of wit and learning will always find their kind. That's crazy. I should put Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff in my Discord. <laughs> okay, so I'm both. Interesting. Well, according to this, I'm Ravenclaw. Heard it here first, folks. Last one, love languages. Couples, children's, teens, singles. I'll just be singles, right? Here we go. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love sends me a loving note or text or email for no special reason. I hug someone I love. <laughs> These days, hug someone I love. It's more meaningful to me when I can spend alone time with someone I love. Just that someone I love does something practical to help me out. The practical, I appreciate that a bit more. <laughs> I'll just come back when I finish. Sorry, my battery's flashing. And my primary love language is acts of service. Hmm. That's my primary love language. Interesting. Yeah. What are the next two? So that's 33%. Then 27% is physical touch. 20% is quality time. 13% is words of affirmation. And 7% is receiving gifts. <laughs> Can helping with homework really be an expression of love? Absolutely. Anything you do to ease the burden of responsibility weighing on an acts of service person will speak volume. The words he or she most wants to hear, let me do that for you. Laziness, broken commitments, and making more work for them tell speakers of this language their feelings don't matter. When others serve you out of love and not obligation, you feel truly valued and loved. I don't know why that doesn't really resonate with me. <laughs> Did I take the wrong test? Hi! So my camera battery just died and I am unable to unscrew the tripod at the moment, so I can't put in a new battery. But I just want to say thank you for watching this video. This was literally the most chaotic thing I filmed ever at all, ever on my channel. Hopefully it was like still okay to watch. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for some more videos. Hopefully I can film some more vlogs now that the semester is starting again soon. So yeah, hopefully you can see some more of that good stuff on my channel but otherwise yeah that's pretty much it i hope you are having a great day or night or afternoon whatever time it is right now when you're watching this and i will see you guys in my next video bye if i'm being honest i'm actually very much sleep deprived i'm gonna delete like all of this oh you bitch how much sleep did you get this week or last night <laughs>
여기까지 알수 없는